Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. There was a magnitude 3.9 earthquake close to Yellowstone Supervolcano. 10 sleep at 7.22 Central Daylight Time or 6.22 Local Time. 13 kilometers in depth, which would be about 8.5 miles below sea level. 12 people so far reported feeling this earthquake. The first wave of the earthquake came from straight up. You can see how the fault line actually spread apart. And we had slight dipping towards the southeast. Tension was applied coming from the south. Here's an image of the earthquake as it came in at the top, Yellowstone Lake, Little West Thumb, and the Promontory. Using Google Earth, here's the location of that earthquake. The uh, black lines drawn out and the red lines. This is the area of uplift that was documented going back to 2015. Back on 2011, March 17th, there was a magnitude 4.2 earthquake. Oh, pretty close to the same location. Also close to this location, we have Mahogany Butte. And there is also a private airport. Oh, I can't get that to light up. There's a private airport. Orchard Ranch Airport. The spectrogram for this morning's earthquake. Here we have Borehole 208, which comes from the fishing bridge there at Yellowstone Lake. The Promontory. And it really shook up the caldera. Look at that. Oh, let me come back down. And this one here is West Thumb. Yeah, the lighter lines are hot water and gases that came up during this earthquake. This here is an image at Old Faithful captured on the static camera. They've taken a bunch of pictures and put them all together to make one live long feed. But I noticed we got USGS walking around on the dome of Old Faithful. Let me move it forward a little bit for you. They arrived there about 8 o'clock. The first image was from 8.15. This is 8.16. 8.18 a.m. That was um, in the morning, local time. 8.19. Yeah, what are they monitoring? 8.14. 8.18. We got, oh, looks like they got a tripod. Are they looking at the uplift that we have noticed here for Old Faithful? Are they measuring the elevation? 819, 823, I can see three. One sitting on a bench, one over here, and one on the, the uh, one vent they have there. 827, one man there, one man there, and one walking off towards the left. 832, I can only see one man. 833, he is now moved. Looks like he's over here on the right. 834, there he is right there. 835. 837. Looks like they're taking a sample of the water. 838. One man there and one there. 849. We have four people walking on this very sensitive area. 852. Kneeling down where the water runs down. Yeah, probably taking more samples of the water. 8.53, still there. That's the only one I can see. 9.13, I can only see three. 9.17, 9.20, doing some more type of work. I have no idea what. 9.32, looks like, what, one leaving? Left their bag of whatever. 9.35, the geyser goes off. 9.45, yeah, well, it looks like they got some kind of barricade they put up over here, maybe. And two people there. 947, yep, looks like they're taking more samples of the water. 951. 953. 954, yep, they're taking more samples. 956. 957. I don't know, they left their equipment there. Is that one man kneeling? It's hard to see. 10.04, yeah, it looks like a man kneeling there, monitoring some sort of equipment. 
10.06. And we might have another person over here or something's left over there on the right by that tree there. Could be just a branch, but 10.08. Walking farther up on the dome. 2.55 p.m. There's a man on the dome. 2.59. Three people on the dome. 3.03. One man right next to the vent. 310, it's kind of dark, but I can see one man, possibly two there. 317, I don't know if that's park visitors. They don't have the orange coats on. And then one, possibly two by the dome or the vent. 4 o'clock, one of the workers leaving. You can see the uh, orange vest there. 405, Old Faithful goes off again. 413, two people. There by the vent. 5.39, Old Faithful goes off again. Then at 7.10 p.m. it goes off again. I don't see the people there anymore. They probably went home at 5 o'clock. All right, so I'll run the whole thing for you starting at the beginning. We'll pull this over and run it. It starts out, yeah, 6 o'clock in the morning. There is one buffalo that comes and temporarily lays down by the boardwalk. Yeah, my earthquake kitty's meowing today. I'll give a link to this video, and you can put it into your own browser and watch it. Didn't seem to go off as much as it's supposed to. It's supposed to go off every 90 minutes. And that's the end of it. USGS has 87 earthquakes on this map within the last seven days. The latest being Stanley, Idaho, a magnitude 3.0. Also Stanley, a 2.0. Uh, 3.9 for 10 sleep. sleep. 2.8, Stanley, Idaho, 3.1, Stanley, Idaho, 2.7, 3.1. Yeah, they're getting a little bit stronger in magnitude in the last few hours, it looks like. 2.1. And I showed you how the sawtooth um, fault zone, yeah, it does connect and is affected by Yellowstone. I showed you the documentation in one of my last videos about that. All right, so here's the latest earthquake. Let's jump up to this one. I can see that one at 2007. That would have been universal time yesterday. And let's see if we can find it over here. Right there. Now, the larger signal that came in for this uh, 3.9 earthquake looks like it could be the promontory. Taught, yeah, lasted a little bit longer there at the promontory. I'll extract that for you. And we'll zoom into it. See, this is the P wave. Shows it came from a distance. And then the S wave. P wave always comes in first. That's the sound of the earthquake when you hear the rumbling before the shaking which is the S wave, which goes around the outside edge of the Earth. 
In my last video, I talked about the harmonic tremors that are going on, which means magma is, is on the move. And this is from the promontory right there. This is what's currently showing. This is one of the larger ones. I don't see it on USGS. This is at the promontory. Uh, let me pull this up for you. 2023 Universal Time. And it shows up. Also at West Thumb, we'll extract that, pull it over for you, 2021. Yeah, the last thing they have posted is, let's check that one out, is a 3.1 at 839. So no, they're not reporting that one. That was yesterday, the 13th. And that's probably... That earthquake right there. This is the promontory, um, Yellowstone Lake. And this would be, um, Little West Thumb. So I'll close that out. Here's the more recent one, what it's showing right now. I'll pull that because it shows up over there also. I probably didn't pull the file for it. Yeah, harmonic tremors. See that? Yeah. Okay, that was the promontory again. Here we got West Thumb. And let's take a look at this one. Yeah, that was there at um, the lake. Yep. Not being reported. Let me pull this over. Interesting things going on with the tilt. This is Norris Junction. It's still showing uplift. This is from the borehole 205, a very deep well under the ground. Um, X is north, Y is east, but they measured that the magma is doing under the ground. But if you were looking at the horizon, this would be north. This would be west and this would be east. But this is what the magma is doing under the ground. Last seven days and then we'll come back to the last 30 days. Remember I talked about how it made this jump. Uh, yeah, right at the end of the month. Remember that? Borehole 950. X is north, Y is east. Last seven days. Remember I talked about how uplift was just basically straight up last 30 days borehole 207 madison river not close to the norris geyser basin area for the last seven days the magma is flowing under the ground going east and then the last 30 days Borehole 208 for Yellowstone Lake. Now, this is where it gets interesting. The borehole for Grant stopped working. I showed you that in my last video. And I believe the last one. X is north. Y is east. Yeah, we have subsiding at Yellowstone Lake. It's going down. Not good. Last seven days. Last 30 days. And look how it made a turn. The magma that's flowing under the ground all of a sudden decided it's going to go someplace else. I'm going to guess and say that the magma under the ground is now flowing east towards the promontory. What do we have at the promontory? Let's move this over. Google Earth. Let's go over to Yellowstone Lake. Here we go. We have this crack that I keep talking about that's flowing under the lake where a dike intrusion of rhyolite, the most highly explosive type of magma, because it's full of gases, is trying to come up. And this little finger here, Molly Island, it says, is the promontory. And then yesterday they had all these people out at Old Faithful. Let's go there. Testing the waters. 
uh, taking samples, um, measuring uplift. Sure looked like it to me. Yeah, and other people have noticed how Old Faithful seems to have been a little bit higher than what it was in the past. Yep, the live webcam's been down, what, two months? They said they were waiting for good weather to get out and fix it, but it's nice enough for the geologists to get out and do um, leveling and taking water samples and gas samples and things like that, but they can't get out there and fix the camera. Yeah. Here is a current image of Old Faithful. Yeah, they got some kind of barricade, what we would call here in the Midwest uh, a snow fence, it looks like, with a little white sign. I wish I knew what it said. And it looks a little dirty. Let me pull this over. Yeah, it's currently 10.47 a.m. there at the park. And I'll pull it down a little bit more. You can see the sign. Old Faithful Geyser. There, I just refreshed it. It is 1049. So anyways, that's all I have for you right now. Uh, things are not looking good. Um, yeah, it's 2021, isn't it? What are your thoughts? Please put your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Make sure you're still subscribed because YouTube loves to unsubscribe people. Please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.